Welcome back boys and girls. Let's go ahead and let's talk about page five of your fourth grade hybrid math workbook. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and draw bar models to show a multiplicative comparison. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at numbers one, two, and three together. Number one says draw a bar model of eight times seven equals 56 and seven times eight equals 56. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and draw a bar model there. Okay, that total is going to be 56, okay? It's going to be 56. So here it says 8 times 7, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 times 7. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's going to be 8 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 8. So 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's one way. Now let's take a look at the next way. So here I'm going to go ahead and draw this bar model again. So here I have 56. And now it says 7 times 8 equals 56. So now I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now, each of these pieces is going to be 7. That's just drawing the bar model right there. 7 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equals 56. Now let's go ahead and let's draw another bar model. Here it says draw a bar model of 10 times 5 equals 50 and 5 times 10 equals 50. That's just the commutative property, right? I'm going to go ahead and draw a bar model. We know that total there is going to be 50. So here we have 10 times 5. So we're just going to do it 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 10 times 5, each one of these pieces will be worth 10, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now let's take a look at the next one. Let's go ahead and draw a bar model there. Here I've got 5 times 10 equals 50, okay? So it's going to be 50. I'm going to do 10, 10 boxes. That's going to be 5 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Each one of these pieces will be worth 5, right? Awesome. So now let's go ahead and draw another bar model. Here I've got draw a bar model of 12 times 3 equals 36 and 3 times 12 equals 36. So first I'm going to start with 12 times 3. I'm going to draw my bar model there. We know that the total there is going to be 36. So here it has 12 times 3. So I'm going to do it 3 times. 1, 2, 3. And that's 12, that's 12, and that's 12. 12 times 3, 1, 2, 3, equals 36. Now let's take a look at 3 times 12. I'm going to go ahead and draw my bar model there. We know that's going to be 36. And we're doing it 12 times. If I split it in, in the middle, that's half. I need 6 and 6 because 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So each of these pieces will be worth how much? 3, right? Because we're doing 3 times 12. Awesome, boys and girls. So, go ahead and draw the bar models of these multiplicative comparisons. Work on sets one and two of your fourth grade hybrid math workbook, and we'll see you at the next video.